All right, Panisa Will continues to uh, excel as one of the league's top tackles. And then we talk about Craig Reynolds, too. So uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, all my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fastest way. Then Instagram, the Twitter, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll check out the Trey Lines Talk playlist. Um, all links in the description. So apparently, Swill keeps uh, ascending. All right. More and more, it looked like he was the best uh, pick for the Detroit Lions. Okay. Obviously, we measure offensive alignment different than we measure wide receivers and running backs, right? <clears throat> but it says how Detroit Lions rookie Penisa will continues to prove to be a future NFL star. Um, well, you got to subscribe to this. Don't worry about that. I got it. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> you know, so to Detroit Lions rookie Penisa will continues to play like one of the league's top tackles. I don't get why they want you to subscribe, man. I get that they ain't selling newspapers like they used to, but yeah, I can just click over and go to the <laughs> just a better or the same article. <clears throat> So it's just simple as that. It says, Allen Park, Panisa Will continues to show signs of growth hitting another level of Detroit Lions first rounder plays like one of the league's top tackles. 21-year-old right tackle was the top uh, ranked player among, amongst all NFL, excuse me, all offensive tackles in week 14 per pro football focus. Will has <clears throat> started every game this season, moving to left from left tackle uh, to start the year and back to right once Taylor Decker was back in action despite all the outside noise. Decker has settled back into action on the on the left, looking like the ultra defender pass blocker he was in 2020. There have been speed bumps and learning moments along the way, but it's hard to deny the fact that Sewell has been among the game's best at his position over the previous eight, ga eight games. Looks like a button star on the ground and not just consider, considering a rookie. He said, quote, it's been impressive. I would say that the decision to select him – where we did has been a good one, a real good one, because he really has, like uh, Dan Campbell said, so he's going in there and had to move from right to left, uh, back to right. He had some ups and downs, and he's on the upward curve. He's grown. He's taking. He's taking it. It's what you want. Anytime you don't have success, have the success, you're going to learn from it. He's really done that and just improved. He's uh, played through injuries. He's smart. He's tough. He gives. All he's got, and he's only getting better, so it's impressive. He's one of the better ones I've been around, that's for sure, and he's just a young buck. The high praise considering Campbell has rubbed shoulders and coaches with some of the best tackles of recent memory to lace him up. He played in Dallas with Flozell Adams, not to mention New York next to Lomas Brown. Campbell coached former Michigan standout Jake Long and Brandon Albert in Miami, including Tyron Armstead and Ryan Ramsey in New Orleans. Swell's been dealing with the shoulder injury paired with illness over the previous week. <clears throat> Looking to play through just pain, um, Denver, he allowed only two hurries and 42 uh, blocking pass snaps against the Broncos. He's allowed only one sack since week six, remaining one of the better run blockers amongst tackles <clears throat> on the way. Campbell said so, Swell suffered the injury on Thanksgiving and played through the Vikings game at less than 100%. The first year coach said, quote, there was no talking him out of it and that he never wants a player to put themselves behind. Uh, but so Will's awareness and determination spoke volumes. Quote for a guy who knows what he's capable of, especially a young guy, and is willing to go out there and just bang away and help us win and produce. I think speak volumes of this kid Campbell said. So my thing is this, you know, if they didn't have him on Thanksgiving, they probably would have lost. Four versus Minnesota, they probably would have lost. So yeah. How did you look for in a football player, you look for the grit, the toughness, to play through injuries. It's a huge part of football. Detroit Rushing Tag has continued to produce without Jamal Williams for a stretch. In the middle of the season, DeAndre Swift, not for two games running. Craig Reynolds ran for 83 yards of the press squad out of Denver with the Lions starting their third center of the season to boot. The Lions ranked seven in the league with 4.6 net per yards per rushing 10 while uh, starring three different running backs to this point. Chargers left tackle. Rashad Slater has been the national media darling most of the season, but it's getting harder and harder to ignore the extent of Will. The prize lines rookie is the second best tackle in, in all of football since week six. Pro football focus trailing only Trent Williams with the second best grade on the ground and 14th best mark in pass protection during that span. Slater is 22nd among tackles during the same span, coming in at 48 on the ground and 10th in pass protection since week six for no idea of how these two impressive rookies compare so well, athleticism and attitude 
have received rave reviews from former former teammates and coaches alike since landing in Detroit with pick seven back in April draft. The 21-year-old has already got Aaron Donald's face without backing down. He's also regularly seen ch- uh, chirping and even occasionally skipping off the field after chirping moments. So, so somebody has something to say in my interview. So, you know, the rookie has a left uh, a sl- left on the slate with Arizona Cardinals, Atlanta Falcons, Seattle Seahawks, Green Bay Packers, left Detroit heads into the stretch, holding the number one pick, uh, sitting 1-11-1, officially out the playoff contention. Quote, four straight wins, uh, <clears throat> trying to win every game, Lions quarterback Jared Goff said, we got Arizona next week, we'll do it. We do with whoever we got after that, but it would be tough to stand up here if I didn't believe those guys are kind of BSing you guys, but I believe these guys and believe we can win games, and I and believe that we can play with anybody. I believe our coaches, our O-line is damn cool. Our O-line is damn good. And so these running backs, we've been able to move some guys and find some holes there pretty much all year. That's a good thing to kind of carry with us as uh, we go through this year and to next. Again, we're focused on who we got next. So my thing is this, man, um, we got to beg to differ, you know, Everybody talk about Stafford. He won yesterday versus Arizona. I didn't catch the game. I didn't catch no game, but the Lions game this week. But everybody <clears throat> talk about, you know, the positives without, you know, the negatives without Stafford for the Lions and positives for him being in uh, with the Rams. But one of the positives is the year he, li- he left, they were running the ball. They are six best in, in per net yards rushing. You know, that's been a huge issue, and a lot of people said that they assumed or insinuated that Stafford was the reason they didn't run the ball because Stafford wanted his stats. And to be honest, it's looking that way. You know, people don't talk about the positives. They've been running the ball at a great clip this year. And Dan Campbell, one of the positive things, he stuck to his guns and they've been running the ball. They've been, in, uh, they've been. you know, people say, well, you think the Lions should go outdoors. I'm like, no, the Saints built their outdoor team indoors. You know what I'm saying? After they lost to Chicago in the NFC Championship game back in the day, they knew they had to get it tough. So, yeah, this, this team is more physical than I've seen in the past 21-plus years. This is the most physical line football team I've seen on both sides of the ball. Almost a lot of I can't say that on defense, but offensive lineman-wise, they move the mountains out there. And it's an attitude. And that attitude, you know, comes from Brad Holmes down to Dan Campbell down to, to the line. And like I said, whoever come in and be the, the quarterback next year, they're going to benefit from an outstanding run game. And, and two, you know, towards the end of the season, I talk about this more, is that, you know, honestly, man, they really could run with Craig Reynolds and, and 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 let him be the lead back and, you know, and let Jamal help him. You know, I really don't need DeAndre Swift, to be honest. Like I said before, they won a game without him. Not saying that's going to be the norm, but to be honest, bro, you know, I, you know, Craig Reynolds should finish out the year and see what you got in him. And Jamar Jefferson, Redding, Gowan, and Bucci, see what you got. Because – they can they gonna continue to get better. You know what I'm saying? That Swift can't continue to get better. But yeah, I mean, like I said before, you know, this is the type of nasty, you know, dirty, grimy, uh, you know, offensive line in the running game that the, the city of Detroit like. Now, if they can put everything else around it and you know, really depict what Detroit really is, and you know, they got a good start, man. This team. Really, even depending on the moves they make, they might you make the playoffs next year, depending on who's throwing the football. Really, because on defense, you got a lot of young, good corners. You know, really, when you think about it, once you saw up the inside linebacker position, you know, um, you find you a safety. Really, that you know, that defense should get in another pass rusher. That defense should get better. You know, really. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm not, I'm not against taking Aiden Hutchinson and Godwin. Uh, the dude David Ajabo from uh Mitch both the guy from I'm not fool that they make perfect use and we got Romeo Core. Well, like I said, you always can trade Romeo Core, you know, or you always can wait till we get better. You can't never have too many pass rushers. So, you know, I, I wouldn't be against that. But you know, they do gotta you know figure out the position at quarterback. But yeah, talking about Craig Reynolds, man, uh <laughs> I don't see them being able to send uh I don't I don't see them I spelled his name all around. I don't really see them being able to send that dude back to the practice squad. Okay. Um, he went to Cutstown uh, College. He went on draft a couple years ago. You know, really what he's giving you is the size at 5'11 and 225. I mean, really, you could say, you know, Jamal Williams, appreciate you. Uh, but right now, you know, I, I would like to see him 
I would like to see him go ahead and uh, run like a four or five. So I would like to see him go ahead and end the season off, bro. Seriously, bro. Like you know, he he is he's big time, bro, dude. He's he's big time. You know, he's big time. He's big time, bro. So you know, when you look at it, man, you know you got some there. And like I said, running backs are a dime a dozen. And a lot of times receivers can be a dime a dozen. And the way he the way he ran that football, man, it looked just like how he ran the football in the preseason. So I like to see him continue to be the lead back. You know, I like to see him, Jefferson, and Gawa and Buki um keep running the football. I would love to see that. And evaluate what you got and move forward. You really got five capable backs, Reynolds. And a bookie, you know, he had a little shaky Saturday. He fumbled and stuff, but like I said, you convert it from safety to running back. He ain't can't do nothing to get better. And then you got um, um Jamar Jefferson who shows flashes, and then you got what you got from Reynolds and I mean Swift and, and Williams. You know what I'm saying? You really, you really can move on from them guys. I'm not saying you should, and you can find you another explosive back in the in the uh, draft. You know, but like I said before, see what you got in those three backs on the stretch. Let Swift and Williams heal. And get ready for the next season. You probably could flip both, and you would be all right. This is why you don't pay running backs because you could, you know, you got the ability to evaluate talent. Which you know, people are not talking about Brad Holmes' ability to evaluate talent as far as how he found the, uh, <clears throat> how he found the uh, all those really good cornerbacks for years. Smart Mayhew played. He played cornerback. Literally, he played cornerback. You know, and. He couldn't find good. We played defensive back. He couldn't find defensive back to save his life. Bill Bentley, Aaron Barry. I mean, he was terrible at finding them. Too. I think he I can't remember. I don't think he drafted Darius. Like, well, he was my dad, but he was terrible at finding cornerbacks. And Brad Holmes instantly came in and found Jerry Jacobs, AJ Parker. You know what I'm saying? He instantly came in. Bobby Price. You know, he instantly came in and found some good, good guys. Greg Reynolds. You know, so. And his draft picks were Melifano. He's pretty good from what we've seen. So he instantly came in and found some guys. If he able to can lock down the, uh, another pass rusher and two line and two inside linebackers in the safety, the depth on this team on defensively is crazy, bro. Nick Williams and his rookie, Aiden McNeil, McLean, yeah, Aileen McNeil, um, Michael Brocker, Spine, uh, my man, so John Panessi. It's crazy, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check Detroit Line Stop Playlist for more videos like this. <clears throat> I'm making financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal in the description. Best way to donate, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications when I drop a video, go live. Let me know, stay in conversation.